hey what is going on guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to talk about var and let in javascript and i'm going to explain var and let with an example this example is basically a question that is asked many times in javascript interviews so let's get started so these are two functions that i have uh, on the screen right now one uses var and one uses let what these functions basically do is they print the value of i it prints in a set timeout function which is delayed by 100 milliseconds let's just focus on the first one and try to analyze what is wh what will happen if we run this code var i equals zero so i've defined i inside of my for loop and it being a var it is function scoped that means i is visible throughout the function inside of the set timeout it is visible because i is in the closure of set timeout and it will print the value of i uh, for many this might seem that i will print values from 0 to 4 but it really doesn't do that and that's where you have to understand uh, the concept of variables and their scopes and closure so let's just copy this function really quick let's go to the developer console and let's just paste this function i'll probably make it a bit bigger and let's just see what is the output now this is what the output that you get it just it just prints five five times and to go to see what really happens under the hood you have to put a debugger statement inside of the set timeout so that you get an idea of what value of i is being taken by the console.log statement so let's just put a debugger and let's just try to run it once more and uh, let me just close this okay so now the value of i here is 5 now even the even if this is running for the very first time the value of i is 5 because i is a variable meaning its scope is inside the function so in this for loop i is incrementing every time so the set timeout function is only called when the with var functions execution is complete and by the time with var completes the value of i is 5 since i is bound to the function with var whenever i try to access i inside of set timeout it's gonna request or it's gonna get the latest value of i which will be 5. i hope that makes sense and you can see that over here so in the closure you will see i with value of 5. so you have just one variable or one memory address which is bound to with var don't quote me on the memory address part i'm not 100 percent sure whether it's just one memory address that is allocated to i uh, i'm not sure how how does that work inside of javascript but the thing is one variable i is assigned or is or is visible inside with var and that's why whenever i say console.log i i get the latest value of 5 because i'm mutating or i'm changing the same variable so now let's just try to do it with let so we have a function here i'll execute it i'll again call it and you have 0 1 2 3 4. so now what is really happening is let's just put a debugger so that we get to look what is what are the values of i okay so now there is a new type of scope which is introduced which is called as block and it is available inside of these two curly braces so whenever the set timeout function is called the console.log tries to access the value of i and since i is bound to this block and not to the whole function you get the value of i for that particular iteration of i inside the for loop and that's why you get these values printed 0 1 2 3 4 because each of these is like passing an argument to a function let's just try to play around with let so that we get a better understanding of what really let allows you to do so if i define something like this so let's just say let i equals one and if i say console dot log i if i copy this go into my dev console your 
So I've now jumped into my dev console and if I paste this, it's gonna throw me an error saying i is not defined but this won't happen with a variable because of another difference and that is hoisting so let is not hoisted meaning let is not available before it is actually defined so in case of var you could try something like this let me just change it to with var and var and this will run without any okay and this has to or and this will run without any problem it won't throw me an error because variables defined with the keyword var are hoisted so these are the major two differences when it comes to var and let and i hope you might have find this video helpful and interesting so if you guys are new here be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one